Hi, welcome to another episode of Beyond Borders Talk Show. Today we have with us Dr. Conan, who is a senior lecturer in medical education. She joined the University of Manchester in August 2012 as a researcher at the Neuroscience and Psychiatry Unit. She has studied the brain, mental health and medications to help psychiatric disorders. Dr. Conan, can you describe your journey from starting as a researcher at the Neuroscience and Psychiatry Unit to becoming a senior lecturer in medical education? Yeah, of course. So um, basically, when talking about that, I always go a little bit further back because I used to be a um, researcher in the Netherlands. And whilst I was doing research there, I also was teaching. So we use small group teaching. So when I came to Manchester, I had a research focused job, but I still wanted to do some teaching. And that gave me then the opportunity to, after doing my research projects, to then move to the medical school and teach because I already had some teaching experience. So I started as a lecturer. How does your background in studying the brain and mental health influence the way you approach teaching and educational methods? So it's, it, it links actually quite nicely, even though I didn't know that maybe beforehand that much. Um, but for instance, if you think about the study skills techniques, a lot is based on, on, on how our brain functions and on studies that have been done years ago. So for instance, all of this research we've done in, in memory, for instance, help us to understand how learning works very well. So active learning, um, repetition of learning and certain topics. So we basically, we use that, those topics in neuropsychology, but also in neuroscience to improve how we present learning um, that we don't have too long sessions. So it's very rare that we have lectures longer than 50 minutes and actually most of them are split and 20 minute sections or 10 minute sections because that's just how we know learning works. As part of the study skills team, could you suggest a few unique learning techniques or strategies that have been well received by students at Manchester? Any types of changes in terms of time management, um, being able to sometimes also say no to things, not about learning as such, but just if you have a good timetable, then you can say this particular time is for studying. I can go for a coffee afterwards. So that's quite important because it's so busy. Um, we do have some training also in terms of uh, note taking during lectures, because that is something quite complicated. Um, so we really focus on learning how to learn again, because the learning is so different. In particular, in Manchester, we also have um, team-based learning, so small group teaching, etc. So it's also for the students important to learn how to be independent learners. Um, it's a very important skill to have as a doctor. So from year one onwards, we do ask our students to um, find some literature themselves, be critical about what is important in that literature and what isn't. Well-being in medical students is increasingly getting recognized as vital. Can you share some challenges faced by medical students in this domain and the interventions that have been proven effective? So we know that our medical students are very much um, um, perfectionists. They're used to being the best of the best. And the one thing we, we see is that our students, all of a sudden from being the best in a class, are with everyone that is the best. So the problem is they're not anymore at the top of the class. And that is something that can be very difficult to understand for students. So what we try to do with that is we need to kind of make sure that our students, especially in the first few years, understand that it's okay to sometimes fail. We also see that our medical students sometimes struggle with, with that, with saying when, when it's actually a bit too much. They worry about that. And again, so we're trying to have um, certain programs. We have different staff members that are really there to kind of open up that conversation. I do get it. Being the best among the best is the toughest job, I would say. It's very it difficult. Very difficult. As the social responsibility lead, how do you address sustainability and planetary health within the medical education framework? So it's a very important topic, and in particular for, for the, the 
these new gen new next generations um, that will be the future doctors. So what we're going to see across the board is there will be different challenges, different disorders um, due to sustainability and, and changes in planetary health. So how we address that is that sometimes in the first few years, we focus on how, what the students being humans can do for that. So what we mean with that is their understanding of using fewer plastic bottles to recycle, etc. So, but besides that, we also focus on certain topics that will be more prominent in the future due to planetary health issues. So asthma will be much more prominent in the future. So we try to kind of make sure that our students are equipped to as persons in general to address some issues that they can help to tackle, but also that they understand the diseases that they will face when they're uh, doctors. Where do you see the future of medical education headed in the next decade? What does it mean to students who want to come to the UK to study medical sciences? So we won't have enough healthcare workers moving towards 2030. And that is something that will also be a challenge that in medical education will face. And that basically means that what we need to make sure of is that the students that we have in medical education feel prepared, resilient enough, feel confident enough to be doctors and to develop themselves in such a way that in their future as doctor, they're also confident, healthy, and that they won't have that many struggles in terms of their well-being, etc. So that is definitely something that we are focusing on in our medical education. Thank you so much for your time and insight, Dr. Conan. It was a pleasure interacting with you and have you on our channel. Thank you so much for watching our channel. Please give a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.